Yo, what's going on, fellas, fellas, fellas? Now, today I'm coming at you with over 14 hours of running the Chaos Sanctuary and showing you all the best drops. Now, I do these on my Poison Nova Necromancer on Players 3 difficulty with roughly 250% magic find. Now, I do this because I really, really, really wanted to use that D-Web that I found almost a year ago, and I haven't used it yet. So, we went ahead and put it to use here on my Poison Nova Necromancer, and I tried to kind of balance out the amount of damage I'm putting out and the amount of magic find. So, I think I reached a good balance. That's pretty much all you need to know. If you want to see exactly how to build something like this, I can put down in the description a link to a build guide of sorts for this particular build and a card up here, there, whatever corner those cards go in, I can never remember. That's all we need to know. Now, let's get after it. Be nice. I didn't check any of these. Oh, a sixer with 19. That's not too bad. Oh, okay. Give me a... What, go up to 70? Eh, 53. Little on the low side. But, cool item to find nonetheless. Caboose says, uh, Terra Zone and Eothex Temple can't get anything. Oof. Fire Lizard's Claw or something like that, right? Let me check this. Fire Lizard's Claw, right? Kind of a rare, rare one. Oh, kind of a cool one. You always see if you're rocking this on a budget, you'd be rocking one of these. Level 11 teleport, and Aegis Puzzler, 69 charges. Total max. Um, two little Elder Staff again. Take a look at all this stuff. Uh, Sword Guard, right? Good old uh, Nage's Puzzler. The budget Enigma and Swap. Right? Uh, Ginthers? Ginthers? Yeah. It is a unique... Ogreact. Let's go. Not ethereal, unfortunately. Not a good roll, either. But it's Ogreacts, nonetheless. <laughs> Andrew, happy birthday. Cracking your first drink. Templar's coat. It's gonna be ethereal for me. No, I've been finding these everywhere all of a sudden. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel. Perfect part of that, uh, uh, some rare boots that got a bunch of res on them, essentially. Not even the best rare boots, but I just had these on. Another one of these things. Usually you don't find a bazillion of these like this, but the budget enigma right there on swap. I mean... 30 res is the max on, on a damn on a res charm with 10 to minimum. That's kind of a cool little jewel, to be perfectly honest. It's pretty cool. Same here. Not that I've necessarily been Oh, Ethereal. Spire of Honor Ethereal. Interesting. Kinda cool with it with it being ethereal pretty much. Bunch of damage to demons. That's cool. But yeah, the ones the one sweet fill media, the one is sweet fill. Clips, and the one is uh, media, sweet fill media, sweet fill clips, and the fill cast. Kind of a cool, semi no worthy drop. I mean, Ethereal Edge is kind of a, a neat item that doesn't ever get used, I guess, but just kind of a neat semi rare item. Brambled Myths, best in slot for all melee characters. By the way, all those, all those other channels, links in the description, by the way. Gothic, Gothic AF. Uh, where'd that go? Lost the comic. Oh! Good old legendary. Ooh. Summoning, summoning druid grand charm. Do stuff. Kind of my, kind of my calling card, you know what I mean? Oh! A facet right off the bat. Getting after it. Lightning. We're gonna get a good one here, fellas. Ugh, guaranteed. Bam! I, I mean, single player, you're not gonna get all perfect stuff. Five, four, fire. <laughs> Psychonaut. My, my place is better than your place. Right, right. Soul Drainers. Kind of a rare one. Dual Leech. Dust Shroud. Okay. 
We're hoping for a good roll on this uh, Ormus robe. Let's go. I already have a blizzard one. I don't know what I'd want. Maybe uh, something. I don't know. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, lightning. Ah, and the lightning rolled the lowest, but lightning is a good skill to get on an Ormus at least. So on single player, you only need one and you're good, but... Oh, those caster gloves. Strengths. They do not roll any different. Same defense. Good old caster gloves. Strength gloves. Ugh. I've added it up and I've spent over four grand in the last ten years. Well, yeah, but what's... Oh, hold on one second. Let's go a winged helm and a tiara. So we've got a Valk helm. Interesting one. 220 with a 4, 150. That's cool, but uh, tiara is nothing but a Valk helm. Valk helm's a neat one to find. Only removed the AH after they met their quota. What is a AH? Uh, auction house. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because they were making money off it or whatever. Oh, unidentified SOJ. Unidentified SOJ. Yeah. Ravenfrost, 248. A good rolled Ravenfrost, I do know that. I think. To the best of my knowledge. Hard to remember back that far, right? Tabby does. Oh, my favorite. Give me some room. Ethereal? No. It's the unique Ogre Axe. Ogre. Rolls up to 320, so it's a good roll on it, too, huh? Um, some stuff for GM. Like these racks had to be purple. If they if they painted stuff purple that day, I'd come home and would yeah steel fabrication yeah generally. Oh, I would come home and literally like blow purple powder coat paint out of my nose. But that's a high rune, fellas. Right in the middle of that former work conversation. Ooh, about time. About time up in the chaos sanctuary. Oh, and my metal grid on the same run. Let's go. Good. And my metal grid, boom. Ah, Seraph's him. That's a pretty kind of rare one, right, too? So, kind of rare. Unfortunate that the business model has changed so much that, uh, you know, it's not like if you make a game that's as good as possible, you will make as much money as possible. And eh, only 45s. Good set of boots, so I could throw that on to get more. Actually, not even more fire res, because this has got 40 on it. But Alder's boots, walk, run, life, fire res. Notorious for making up for this guy right here. Robert says he sees the bright side to go in Mormon. I didn't know Mormons didn't do Christmas. I don't know a ton about every religion in the world, but... Oh! Unidentified SOJ, straight from Diablo. Boom! Oh! 30 Nagel, though. That's actually awesome, because I had one on single player, and I think this is just my second 30 Nagel. Nice. I don't know what the other stuff ranges roll to, but still cool. 30 Nagel, nice. But I have a I have a mug that was... No, I can't remember what year, but it's... Uh, I got it at the Salvation Army, where all the best stuff I own is from. Uh, ooh, War Belt, uh, good old Tea Gods. 192... The roll's not huge, but it is a, a high roll. But yeah, good old T-God's great for that. Javazan. Kill all the, you know, the rock and issue looking. All the... I was, ah! It's literally like the eighth rare diadem. And I know it's not like... But come on, game! Come on! Give me a Gryphon already. Going lightning, going fireball, going hydras, going blizzard, going it, all that kind of stuff. Be good for me. Be good. 32's not bad. Not bad. It's up there. It's up there. Mall rune. Let's go. Not a high rune, but once again, a. Uh, I'm always happy to find myself another mall, right? Another. Malrune. Ooh, still hunting that Griffins though. If they're doing, I guess, in my opinion, anyways, the pre-order 
with the full price, like, and all you're really getting is, like, a few days extra of, like, open beta. Mars. Oh. Just the Crescent Moon. What's going on with these guys? Sacred armor? Well, a pretty rare item, but uh, one that you kind of, I wouldn't say you find everywhere, but the number of these you find compared to the other sacred armors that are unique. Much different.